I need that energy. Give me that energy. Give me that liveliness. Give me that whoa. Give me that whoa. <laughs> hey, what's up, besties? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see from the title, we're going to be talking about our January budget and our goals. And I'm really excited about this video because we all know 2020 was hard, okay? It was rough a little bit. It was good. In, in some spaces, but it was a little rough. It was different. And it wasn't just different for me. It was different for you, 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 you. It was different for everybody, the whole entire world. And the reason why I wanted to point that out is because if you were kind of hard on yourself or you felt like you didn't really attain any goals or you just kind of barely made it through, guess what? You still made it. So now you have an opportunity to start fresh and start all over and you have people around you who went through the same thing. I know so many people lost their jobs. I lost mine in June. Um, thankfully, I was blessed to get another job, but there are so many people who lost their jobs that they've never had to ask for assistance before. They've never had to do all of these different things. And so it's been a difficult year, but that doesn't mean we have to sit in it and we have to stay in it. It's time for us to make some things happen, make some things shake, as I like to say, and let's make 2021 the year that we thought 2020 was supposed to be, okay? And you know what? Let me just say this. We thought 2020 was going to be that year of the vision, you know, and all that. But you know what? It was a year of vision because I got a lot of clarity, not just in my business, but I got it personally and spiritually. I got a lot of clarity. So if nothing else, my vision did get a little bit clearer and I was able to see a lot different. So I hope that you grab something out of 2020. Let me know what 2020 taught you. Negative, positive, semi-negative, positive, whatever it is, I want to know what 2020 taught you down below. Now, for 2021, I am going to set three goals for myself. Now, I am just now releasing this video. I'm just like, literally, it's 619 on New Year's Eve, and I'm recording this video because I had to sit down and really be one with myself and be like, what is it that I want to accomplish for 2021 in regards to my finances? Now, the reason why I said that is because 2020 was difficult, and I was just trying to make it, okay? I saved up a good amount of money. Uh, last year and I was kind of trying to hold on to it, you know, because I didn't know what was going to happen and kind of got the same feeling going into 2021, but I'm going I'm to let myself live. So I, I was like, hmm, what goals do I have? What do I really want to do? And I sat down and I got the three main areas that I want to focus on. So the first one that I want to do is to pay off my car. Now, I have a little bit over a year, no, two years. I think I, I counted it out. It was two years left on my car. So I'm going to break that down and I want to pay it in one. So that means I'm going to double my car payment every month. So now going into my budget, instead of it being $500, I'm going to do a um, thousand. Now, with that, <laughs> I know that may seem like, you know, a lot or whatever, but that means my money that I'm making at the shop and stuff like that, I'm going to be applying that towards my car note. So anything that I get kind of extra, if I can pay it off sooner, I definitely want to. When it comes time for tax refunds, I definitely want to do that. I know we're about to get a stimulus. I'm waiting to be stimulated as we talk. OK, um, I do want to start applying some of those like those things to that. So when I pay off my car, it's going to leave me open to have that extra $500 that I can pay on other stuff, other debt. So we'll start that snowball effect. So the second thing that I want to get into is a house. Now, as you guys know, I talked about this several times, but I lost my job in June. But what I probably didn't express to you guys was that in the month of like between April and May, I was like, y'all, I'm about to give me one of these uh, COVID houses is what I was calling it. Just being silly because the housing market had went kind of down. I was like, I'm about to give me one. So I started looking. I got approved for um, what was it? I, I got approved for a certain amount or whatever. But, you know, of course, once you get a um, pre-approved you have to still go through the process so I was only pre-approved for the amount then I lost my job I had found this house y'all it was so beautiful the bathroom was everything to me okay I'm big on bathrooms I want a very nice bathroom I'll probably have to show you guys the inside of my brother and house because they have this beautiful bathroom and I'm obsessed with it like I really be like excited when they ask me to house it over at the house because it's just amazing and it, so anyways long story short I had found this house I thought it was amazing I sent it to all my like to my girlfriends my mom and my dad I took them on a FaceTime tour my brother went over there he liked the house it was close to him like it was just amazing but it was like God was like no not yet and you guys know like a couple years ago I was trying to buy my brother's house and God was like no not yet so I'm gonna put it into the atmosphere yet again and if he says no not yet that's fine with me but at least I'll have my ducks in a row and I'm gonna make sure that that is one of the things that at the top of my list 
to do I do want to get into a home now I do like where I stay at now it's enough for me and Bubba but it is kind of getting cramped with me having my shop here I'm trying to like I've literally created this space in my bedroom <laughs> which is what you do when you're a youtuber but I literally created this space and I would love to have just my own little studio I would like to have a nice kitchen so I could do cooking videos because your girl likes to cook I don't know if y'all know that but I really like okay I like cooking Okay, I like okay, I like cooking. I like baking. I like fixing things. I don't like doing the other domestic stuff like cleaning up and stuff like that. I don't like that. I don't want to do that. But <laughs> I would love to do some more of those type of videos. So that is one of the things that I'm working on um to get to happen in 2021. And again, if it's not my time, it's just not my time, but I do want to work towards that goal. And the third one is going to be paying off two student loans. Now, I had that goal for last year because I was like, "Oh, money coming in okay because <laughs> i'm where the money resides where the money resides where the money resides and that's how mary had a little lamb but listen that did not happen like that and i was like literally like mm -mm, any money coming in i'm gonna save it because i don't know what's gonna happen i don't know what they about to do and then when they stopped us having to pay our student loans and we didn't have to pay anything back i'm definitely not gonna give navian or a uh, u.s department of loan education whoever they are I'm not going to give them none of my coin at this point. OK, so I, I really just was like, uh. and so now they're talking about giving us um, some sort of uh, relief for our student loans. And I'm hoping that that happens and that it will at least reduce it by half. And that will really put me in a good position, but I'm not going to bank on it. So because of that, I'm picking two loans that I'm going to pay off and those will be paid off by December. And I'll keep you guys posted. So I created those goals. Let me know what goals you're going to start off with. And then let's check in in January, February, March. Let's check in in April and see where we are with paying those things off. Like how far have we gotten? And maybe let's make like a little chart or something. Maybe like a little car chart. That'd be cute, won't it? Just a little car and fill in the car and circle it. Is this too much? I don't know. Maybe I'll do something, something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into our January budget. Special and you're reckless. Remember you're my bestest friend, yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless, nobody else can end it And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it So I want to introduce you to Roses Forever and this is a company that provides you with roses that literally last forever and they are so realistic looking. I really don't know how they do it but they look so good and I love them. Every time someone comes over they're like wait where, where did you get those from? Who got you those? I'm like look mind your business don't worry about it just know that they are really cute and then if they come back over again and like girl your roses still there? I'm like yes okay they are preserved they are roses forever. Now one of the cool things that I did start doing was using this rose water from at home with Kita, and I just spray it on top of here and you guys oh my gosh it smells so good and lasts for days like anytime you go and smell the roses it just ah, gives you that good feeling so if you guys have the rose water and got some of these roses forever you are in business it is so amazing and I love it so thank you so much to roses forever for sending me those if you guys are interested I'll have a link down below so you too can get either get yourself some or you know send it to your boo tell them to get you some you know whoever tell your boo thing your cousin auntie tell them to get you some of these send them to people they last forever because if you're like me okay baby girl will kill the rose in a minute but that's neither here nor there we're gonna let that roll out but yeah look at this beautiful scenery we got over here this looks nice in the camera view okay here we go so we're in our budget planner if you guys have the budget planner from last year um, or from before all you have to do is click this little small button here in good notes and hit duplicate and then it will duplicate your planner from before so let's go ahead and get into it I love it it's Elaine Michelle it's me all right and so let's go ahead and write in our goals we had pay car loan off we want to buy a house and our last goal is to pay off two student loans 
Now, if you have more than three goals, definitely write them down, copy more pages, whatever you have, but I have three, so I'm going with those. All right, so let's go ahead. These are debt trackers that are inside of here, so we gotta skip past that and get us to January. And here's our January. Again, I'm gonna go back through and do the hard work of putting the stickers and stuff into place because it does take quite a bit of time to do that. Um, but I don't really have anything coming up that's like super special or that needs to be drawn attention to, so it's literally gonna be me just drawing in my um putting in my bills and stuff like that and so we'll do that in the next page but again if you're doing this and you have a monthly view and you're not you know you're not into doing stickers and stuff you can literally just write your bills in and anything else I do like when I do it and I like have the highlighting and stuff going on so maybe I'll just write them in this time um I won't worry about stickers but stickers just help make it like brighten up and livens it up but again I don't have anything really going on in the month of January you know due to everything that's going on you know <laughs> all the stuff that's still going on we don't have anything um i do have a birthday for my brother here some paydays and stuff like that but other than that um so let's put birthdays put that down there okay all right so let's go ahead and move into our monthly bill tracker all right so our monthly bills that we have we have our rent of course and that's going to be due on one one and i already checked and they don't even have it listed yet so that's the whole thing and insurance y'all they don't play about this insurance honey they send me a message like three days in advance hey we're going to be taking this money out of your account so um you can get ready <laughs> and i think that's cool that they give you a warning so in case something happens that you can do that as well and then we have our itunes number one and then that's on one, two. Then we have Zips Car Wash. All right. And then that is due on one, ten. And then we have Apple Care. And that's due on one, ten. And then iTunes number two. And that's due on 12. Oh, Ooh, wait, I'm sitting here writing it. <laughs> that's due on 1 13 all right then we have our car note and that's due on 1 15 then we have sprint and that's due on 1 17 mlgw which is our memphis light gas and water that's due on 1 um 22 then we have sling TV and that's due on 123 Xfinity and that's due on 127 and then Netflix all right and that's due on 128 then we also have to add in the um, Apple card which I really don't want to write write it in there um, but and i'm gonna tell you why because i have the apple card and you can pay it like right off right so it's really cool i like how this works when you have the um apple card and so i have my payment is due on the 31st so we'll put that on there so we'll put apple card now i'm not using the apple card as a credit card i'm using it for cash back so this is one of those examples of um where you have a card and it has rewards and stuff like that it has amazing cash back one to three percent on purchases that you make like i went to walgreens and i got three percent of my purchase back so if you're like me and you have like all these different stores that you usually shop at you get rewards from there i love to get a good cash back flus it works for there so if i use flus i'll get cash back there and cash back from flu like it's a whole thing so i'm just gonna put my apple card here just to ensure that i pay that back off um by Come on now, by 131, and I'm okay with that. Um, it makes me it makes me happy that I, you know that I can do that, and then um, so that balance is not too much anyways. And it, usually I pay that off before the like as soon as I get it, I pay it right back off. So like if I'm at a store, I wait for it to hit and I just pay it off because I was planning on spending the money anyway. And I don't really use credit cards anyhow anymore, just enough to keep them on. Or like I said, if a store has it, so there's that. Um, for childcare, I don't. I don't think we're going to do child care, but just in case, we want to make sure that we put those dates down. So that's going to be the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th. So, okay, so we'll put those down just in case we do decide to do the child care. 
All right, so again, the reason why we write down our monthly bill pay tracker is just a good way. So once you've paid something, you can just hit the check and check it off. So you can come to this sheet first and just look at this. You can send it to yourself and like, you know, look at it and know what you got coming up. It's just a good like instant reminder of what you have going on. Um, the reason why I like the monthly is because you can write your bills in, also write in different traveling things that you have going on, appointments that may arise, like, oh, that's something I got. I do have an appointment that um, I need to, my annual. So my annual is coming up and I think my copay is $35. So I just need to write that in once I have that scheduled because that's gonna be a thing. All right, so here, let's go here. We go into our monthly budget. So let's go ahead and get started with what we think we're going to be pulling in for this new year. I do have a couple of changes that are gonna happen to some of my bills, so let's talk about those. So for, now I am not clicking this. So for my paycheck, okay. <laughs> paycheck number one we have paycheck number two we have affiliate we have YouTube and then our shop and then something else I want to notice I want to put note over here is that we have um, stimulus check coming okay so we do have the stimulus check which for me in Bubba it's gonna be 1200 because we both get 600 a piece so it's gonna be $1,200 for us so I do want to make a note that that is something that will be happening down there oh okay so um, for my paycheck number one we got 2700 2700 here and then for affiliate pay I'm gonna leave this at a thousand I think we're doing pretty good with the affiliate pay that we're getting coming in so we're gonna leave that there um, I have some different companies I'll be working with and so I'm excited to see where that's gonna go for um, the month of January and then for YouTube we're gonna put this one back at we were at 500 last time let's just put it back at 800 let's see see what we can do now nah, let's uh, let's do seven let's do 700 just to be on the safe side we don't want to over budget ourselves because we have been posting more videos as you guys can see we have been posting more but i think january is going to be a better month but i won't get paid for that until uh february so we'll see how that goes but um, my cpm is rising and i'm really excited about that and that just means people you guys are watching more of my videos you're watching them longer some people are clicking ads some people are just not skipping through the ads you know um but yeah it's the whole thing and i'm super excited that it's going back up from there um had some hiccups but i think we're going to be back into our 1200 mark here soon um, hopefully by mid-year all right so and for the shop we're going to leave that at 2000 and i think we did pretty good we actually um exceeded that goal for last month between the two shops i hate that usps is um kind of with the with the stuff because it is affecting my business as well all right so we're going to go ahead and write in our rent so for rent we got 780 that really hasn't changed much of anything insurance and my insurance includes my car it has life insurance and my renter's insurance so all of that is wrapped into one so if it does look like it's a lot that's the reason why because <laughs> all that stuff is all bundled into one um, then we have our iTunes number one all right and that's 1693 and then we have Apple care this is my insurance on my phone that I have on my iPhone. So I'm keeping that, that's $9.99 and that takes care of pretty much anything that happens to my phone. Then we have Zips Car Wash. All right, and that is $16. Now you guys know I have zips because I like to get my car washed all the time and it just like, yeah, it does, does me some good, okay? Um, iTunes number two. And that is $9.99. This is my storage. I highly, like, I can't stress enough. I'll probably say it every single video. If you have an iPhone or anything with Apple, you need to have some cloud storage. And it really helps you to save, too. Um, I actually got a iPhone 12, and it was 128 gigabytes. And I was like, oh, I need to get the bigger one. It was a gift. And I was like, oh, I need to get the bigger one. You know, I'm going to have to trade this in or whatever. And Kena was like, why? You have cloud storage. And I was like, girl, <laughs> you're showing up right. But that cloud storage really does help in case anything happens. I'm just saving it over to the cloud, and that's that $9.99. So that's one of the ones I won't be cutting out. 
All right, so here we go with the car note. Again, we're gonna be budgeting for a thousand instead of 500. Oof, that took a little bit out of my soul to write that in. Now, the only thing about this, I do need to make a note that only 500 is going to come automatically out of my account, and the other 500 I'll have to pay on my own, which isn't a problem. All right, so then we have Sprint, and this bill is going to increase just a little bit because I had, um, my bill was like $6.00. I got my, my company pays for my bill now, um, $50 worth of my bill. And then I got Bubba a phone that's $15 a month. So we're just going to say it's $20 because I think they add like some taxes or whatever on there. So we'll just say like $20 for him and $5 for me. And I think they didn't charge me for my hotspot. I want to say that I didn't get charged for hotspot. So I guess we can leave this at, let's just put it at $30. We'll put it at 30 and we'll see where that goes for the month. I need to see if they're going to add it on there with my bill. I need it to all come together. And then too, like I'm about to, it won't say Sprint anymore. It's going to say T-Mobile. I'm really sad about that, but neither here nor there. All right. Then we have MLGW, which has been staying very consistent. Um, this month is going to be 160. I did get a chance to look at that bill. It was 160. So that's a little bit less than a 180 that we're normally paying. Yay. Um, but I don't know how that'll be because I've been at home <laughs> this week <laughs> and Bubba been here and yeah, it's a whole thing. All right. And then Sling TV is $46. And I still have Sling TV because I like it. It hasn't done me wrong. I think the price is really good for all the channels that I get. I'm still able to watch like local TV and stuff like that um, through Xfinity Stream. So this just takes care of all the other channels that I don't get through Xfinity Stream, which comes with my internet service. All right, and then we have Xfinity, which <laughs> happens to be next. And they still with the with the with the, but you know, we just go let go and let have okay xfinity so that's um i got that at 121 and then we have netflix which you guys know netflix just went up and did you guys watch bridgerton you listen bridgerton has got me together i love that show and i'm so here for it if you have not watched it please go watch bridgerton okay just just go watch it tell them i sent you to go watch it and um or you some, log into somebody's account you need to see bridgerton it was really really good and i can't wait for season three like i literally watched it in a whole day like i was like like, this is amazing I said season three look I'm already speaking into existence I can't wait for season two <laughs> all right then we have our child care which again I'm not sure what we're gonna do about child care because if I'm not mistaken she's gonna be moving to her house and I'm just I'm I, personally I'm like okay I could do this or I could just you know um have him stay with his uncle or his aunt that's at home right now because they're not in school um so I'm just going to kind of work that out. So I'm only going to put 200 on here right now because I think I can work some things out and move, maneuver some things around, especially because we're on a shutdown right now, too. So there's that. So then we have our cash envelopes and then sinking funds. OK, and I have exciting news about our cash envelopes, you guys. Cash envelopes, the um, so we'll be out of beta in January. I think January 28th is the official launch of the cash envelopes. If you have not seen that video, go uh, click the link up here and you guys will be able to um, get into the cash envelope see what it's about It's digital cash envelopes available through cube money I am so 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 excited that it's launching to the public So if you weren't a part of the beta and you were trying to get in It's a good time to go ahead and sign up because I think you still get the lifetime membership now for the low price before it um, You have to pay I think it's a year yearly subscription i don't know but make sure you go watch that video up there if you're interested in getting into digital cash envelopes if digital isn't your thing you can definitely just do basic cash envelopes like using the money grabbing some envelopes i have tons of those videos on my channel so make sure just type in cash envelopes elaine michelle and you'll see them all right and then we have our sinking funds all right and our sinking funds 160. shout out to whoever just placed the order <laughs> All right, $160. All right, so let's go ahead and add all this up. Um, I think I had some people ask me before about my tithing. My tithes come out before I even pay, um, like before you see this, my tithes has already come out. So I'm not really, I don't really concern myself with that. And I also have, um, $100 every paycheck that goes into my savings account. So that's stuff that you don't see within my paycheck. This is after all that stuff has already come out. That's what I'm working with. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this up. Okay, that was a little dramatic, but you know, here we are. Let me find my calculatrice. <laughs> 
All right, so we are at, let's see, 2,700 plus 2,700 plus 1,000 plus 100 plus 2,000. Is that right? What do we have last time? Yeah. Okay, so we're at 8,900. I think that's, did I add that up right? Let me go back. Hold up. 2,700 <laughs> plus 2,700 plus 1,000 plus 700 plus 2,000. Okay. 9,100. That's what we're hoping to bring in this month. And I don't know if that'll, you know, do what it do, but I hope that it does what it does and moves how it needs to move. But um, that's what we're working with. So we put 9,100. I always write that up there just so I know what I'm working with once I finish adding everything up. So 780 plus 26. This candle smells so good. Um, plus 16, 1693. This is why I got to hold it. Plus 999 plus 16 dollars. 9.99 plus 1000 plus 30 plus 160 plus 46 plus 121 plus 17.97 plus 200 plus 610 plus 160 okay so we're at 3 $3,437 I don't know why I just like paused on saying it <laughs> this is what our expenses are for the um, month so another thing that I like to do um, and I don't know if you guys do the same thing but I will do this so if I have three four three seven at 88 so 2700 plus 2700 is what 5400 a month okay so I will subtract that by 5400 so if I didn't have any of my side hustles or anything left over, I would still have $1,900 left over from just working my job, which that is something I like to double check on. So if you do have side hustles, just do a check to make sure that, you know, you're able to cover your expenses with just your paycheck because all of this stuff don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, my affiliate pay, yeah, I just throw that to whatever youtube i thought or whatever but my shop you know even though i make two thousand dollars i still have to put money back like i pay myself and i still have to put money back into the shop so buying sticker paper buying um just anything you could think of to run your shop i have to buy that with you know it may not be with this particular money but if i needed to do something that would be where it comes from so that's just something to keep in mind that even though you see those numbers there that's what i'm actually bringing in my expenses um like my um income but that doesn't mean like my shop expenses are included in there that's something to totally separate and I have my own account for that um but it is still a part of my income because it's my shop you know what I'm saying okay okay all right so that would tell me I would have $1,900 left over at the end of the month if I needed to now we have 347 wait 3437 88 <laughs> and we're going to subtract that from 9100 all right so that still leaves us with 566 okay now, I know people ask me all the time, like, so what do you do with that extra money? Well, there's things that come up um, or don't come up or I just throw it into my savings. So, like, for instance, I'm going to pay an extra car note. I've been doing um, extra car note there. I also donated some stuff last time for Christmas. Um, so anything that comes out, like, right here and things that... Um, I do put it up, I put it into my savings, or I start paying off any bills or anything like that. So yeah, it looks like a lot of money, but it's going somewhere. So all of this, we have a zero base budget. So if I had to say, this is going to my savings. So we will put savings over here. And I'm just going to shorten that. I'm just going to bring it down to 5K. Because um, sometimes I'll do like little extra things for people. It's January, it's the beginning of the year. Um whatever and i think that's just a good space and that leaves me with that 662 as a cushion so i know people ask me that all the time well girl you making that much money what you doing with you know whatever what you doing girl with all that Ooh, none stacking it up stacking it up but just when it's time because what's going to happen is um student loans are going to hit back again right they're going to take us off of this deferment and so i will have to pay them and that's another 450 a month so that will decrease that so in the event that january they start calling me i'll have that money to start paying them back um and so i 
I just like to use that again if I have to invest in anything for my store, anything for my channel, um, anything that comes up. Really, I just throw that into my savings and I add it there. So that's what I got, you guys. Um, this is my budget. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was super duper long, um, but you guys know it's the first of the month, so we got to do what we got to do. I hope that you got your budget done in the process. Let me go through and mark the ones that are going to be on auto pay. That's what I like to do up in here. Okay, and we have iTunes, Apple Care, Zips Car Wash, iTunes, our car note. We're going to halfway do that one because we need to pay the rest of it sprint is now on auto pay uh sling tv auto pay and netflix that's on auto pay so boom bada boom i do that so i can see like what i have going on um for the particular month what's going to already come out and how everything works and lastly again before you guys get into this this 5662 is not already just sitting there this is going to be throughout the month you get what i'm saying because my first paycheck is going to cover you know a couple of first things but a lot of this money doesn't hit until like affiliate pay doesn't come until the 21st um youtube pay doesn't come until the 21st and in the shop you know that's all throughout the month but it's not one chunk of money that's coming in so that's just something to be mindful of i know we see this but we want to make sure we're you know we're doing the right things so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you have enjoyed this time we spent together doing our budget i'm so excited for 2021 and i just cannot wait to see what you guys do with it it's the year to bet on you and i hope that you do that no matter what you do bet on you i'll catch you guys in the next video Mwah. KK bye You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you're doing it